What's up viewers and subscribers, we wanna deal with, welcome back to D&D News Media. Now we're going to the church today, you know, people. Yeah man, a long time we're not going to the church, so we have profit marks throughout, you know. Yeah man, so I'm a little against the vaccine, isn't it? Yeah man, I'm saying for the people them in our church, I take the vaccine and a bag of things. And I'm say, yo, church people now support, is what I say. Is that basically, I'm say church now make enough money, but you must still come at church, not because you know, have no offering. Is what I say, a bag of things I'm saying to people. I, me, I, and me disagree with enough things and I can agree with one and two things. But more I want to listen to the video, I want to know watch the video and comment in the comment section and tell me what I think. Is me? Comment in the comment section and let me know what I think. And remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Is me, my people? Turn on the post notification bell. And I going to leave a link in the description and I want to go over there to subscribe to that channel. Yeah. Yeah man, I pin a link in my description, my people, and then you can go over there go subscribe. Yeah man, I want to go subscribe to Real Jamaican Life. You understand my people? Yeah man. So, we have Mark Stewart in my people. You see me? He might preach and he might go on with a bag of things. So, I want to know as the viewers to comment and tell me what you think. Because I don't want to say nothing. I want to know. You know. Watch a video for yourself and then leave a comment and let me know what I'm going all right let's jump right into it I should have done long time because sometimes the people who sit in the church who are members are are your worst supporters your worst contributors to any development to any plan they benefit from it they want it they want to get from it they want to be blessed by it but they don't contribute to it they don't give to it and they don't support it Sometimes I know the offering, you know, are your presence. Sometimes you might not have the offering, you know, and you might not have anything to give, but your presence alone speaks volume, you know, just by being there to support what is happening is very important and very encouraging to any pastor when all his members are supporters of the vision and the mission, even when we don't have the resources to to give to it, but our, you know, as I said, your staying away is rebellious and it is a vote against. So think about it when you decide, me na go, come na, me go ask me for money, I'm go tell me for me na want, me na have a few games, so me na go. Huh? People, listen. I have in the in the recent times, I have I have called some people. And say, why are you not in church? Oh, I am this and that. Why didn't you come? I, the, 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 the kind of excuse that we get, it, it, it marvels you. Why some people are not in church. Your presence. Your presence. Is important. Than anything else. Are you there with me? I'm closing in a little bit. I soon be closing this because this I lick too hot. But I gotta share it. Gotta share it. I gotta share this. Hallelujah. To be sure, it take effort. It take, I know it's all of that. But the benefits receive when you you come and stand with your pastor and stand with your church. One verse of scripture that instruct um uh, instructs how dedicated to the Lord we should be is found in Romans 12, 1 and 2. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Write that down and read it. Romans 12, 1 and 2. In view of God's mercy, present your bodies as living sacrifice. Only, he never said present money, you know. Why say if you do? Present your body first. Present your body as a living, come on somebody, you got to share this broadcast. You got to like and share this broadcast to as many people because this word is powerful. Even when we come off this thing, you got to go back and say, somebody, please go and watch Reverend Mark Stewart. He said some powerful things this morning. You got to share this thing with some people. Praise God. Listen, 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 listen. It's very important. Presenting your body as a living, only and acceptable 
The reason why the church is so weak and not having no power to defeat the, the hey, too, I tell the church the other day, I said, too much Christians have demons and they are your fool. I sleep in your bed, I hug you up, I kiss you up, I in your gut, in your chest. Hey, anybody, any Christian that is packed with demons, it means you're not a child of God. It means that you don't have the Holy Spirit. Because if you have the Holy Spirit, and you're a child of God. There's no way demons and devils can be naming your food, sleeping in your bed, having sex with you, manipulating you, and weakening your body and all kind of stuff affecting you. No, 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 no. That means the Holy Spirit would be weak. The Holy Spirit would not have no power. If you're a child of God and you have the Holy Spirit, you become powerful. So no weapon. You're only saying every day you get to talk about no weapon form against me prosper. But demons and devils are prospering over your life as a Christian. Your weak frizzony jelly box, sit on a ball and a beg and sit on uh, um, uh, pray for me, Pastor. I'm under attack. Demons are this and demon. Hey, if I have to get up and pray for you as a Christian every day because you're under Satan and demon attack. It means you do not have the anointing. You don't have the Holy Spirit. And that is the problem with the church. The church is not powerful because many people in the church are not filled with the Holy Ghost. They're not on fire for God. Their bodies are not sacrificed unto the Lord. And so demons and devils is having a field day with Christians because they are not saved. They're not delivered. They're not sanctified. They're not filled with the Holy Ghost. And the devil knows it. And the devil knows where to attack you. So the church is in trouble because the believers are in trouble. There is no holiness. There's no, there's no presence of God upon your life. You're keeping malice. You hate people. You grudge people. You cut your eye on people in a church. You, you backbite. You chat people. You sit on people. You know why? You do not have the Holy Spirit in you. You cannot tell me that you are so rebellious. Huh? You're not humble. These are the fruit of the spirit, you know. And if you don't possess the fruit of the spirit, how dare you tell me that you're, you're getting in tongues, speaking in tongues, Holy Ghost. Say, ah, 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 eh, ah. There's a problem with the church. Too much false tongues and false spirit. You have to live it before you speak it. If you're not living it, you can't speak it. So shut up. Shut up. Stop getting a spirit. Stop. No wonder you, your tongues is full of fashion. Everything what other people say that you are saying. Because you don't have nothing for yourself. Because you don't have it in you. I did a, a powerful release on Friday night. Explain the problem why the disciples backslide when they arrest Jesus. Because the, the Holy Spirit was with Jesus. Not in them. Until he, he undued them with that power. And until Pentecost, the disciples were weak. <coughs> and many of you, many of us in Christian, in church, are pretenders. We're pretending to have what we don't have. That's why we cannot behave right. Because we don't have what we say we have. I better close this thing, it as well. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, Romans 12, 1 and 2, by the mercy of God, that he present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good, acceptable, perfect, and the will of God for your life. Everybody need to know Romans 12, 1 and 2. Everybody. Romans 12. Read it until you know it by heart. All the Christians who get up and tell me, Pastor, what's going to happen to my job if I don't take this thing, if I don't do this? If I don't do that, if I, I have to work after this, after that. Hear what you're doing. You're conforming to the world standard and the world's way. You're not trusting God any at all. And I don't care who don't like me or who don't want to come. I am telling you, anybody get up and do anything against the will of God and compromise their faith in the name of survival, name of whatever, you are you are conformist to the pattern and the way of the world. And you know, those who get up talking about I'm disrespectful to the prime minister, I'm rebellious, and I'm not following orders, you are, let me tell you who you are. You are a conformist to the pattern of the world. 
you are not transformed. If you are transformed, then you become aggressive to anything that seek to threaten the life, your life, and the lives of the people around you. As a child of God, it makes you spiritually angry like God, and you get into that moodus apparatus of being war, fierce, warrior. That's our job as a real Christian. Test the spirit. Test the atmosphere. If it is not of God, kill it. If it's of the devil, fight it. That's the, the responsibility of a true servant of God and a true believer. You go against the status quo. You let the anointing break forth power to deliver and to stand up against anything that is not of God. Because you're standing in the name of and for the name of the Lord. You can't get up and, 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 and put God in a place where God feels like he, he, he's feeling inferior. You make God feel like he's not important. You make God feel like he can't do what he says he will do for you. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So do you agree with Mark Stewart? Comment in the comment section and let me know. And remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. You see what I say? Talk the things then. I could know what I go on. You think I'm right for you behave like that? You think I'm right for you say them things there? Alright, you know, comment and let me know.